Hello Rockstars and Earthlings, it's Melanie Florence from Hot Tea from the Soul. So I am going to do a moon cycle reading, a June moon cycle reading. We came out of a very large uh, full moon with an eclipse, right, in, out of May, so in Taurus. And so we're now in Gemini moon and here we are. So big moon cycle and we're going to go through the uh, solstice. And so let's see. So this is a five card reading that comes out of what came out in the wanting moon, what came out of the moon for you and what have we got going on in the dark moon, the dark cycle is in the moon, the back of the moon, right? And then new moon sitting our intentions, where that's going to go and um, and then building on that, what do we build on that with the waxing moon as it builds up to be a full moon, right? So we've got a full cycle going on. At the end, I'm going to do individual star signs in the timestamp. So if you're a Taurus, we'll go straight on through, but if you are a, a Virgo then and or Capricorn, go into the timestamps and you'll be able to find the go on with this reading for you that extended reading for each individual star sign is going to be in the end but first we're going to build up for the element of the earth so what do we got first in the build up for this moon what came out of that moon what do we got with the moon in june with the sources what have we got for the earth element Ooh, tuning into your psychic abilities it was a third eye sort of thing in there you might have found that you pull back a little bit in the world of the physical world and you're really tuning into the inspiration that you're finding in the in the psychic realm right and you've got psychic abilities and that you're tuning into that and taking the time in this season in the longest day and shortest day of the year right so what else have we got for the earth element what have we got so psychic abilities we have this big moon oh right all right, so psychic abilities again, sacred living, spirit speaking, and intervention. All right, so there may have been a spot where you have an intervention. You've had some time. You've had a different perspective. All right, we've got this tuning in with this oracle. You are your own oracle inside of here. We're doubling up on the same message, just their earth element, really tuning into your own divine being inside of here. And let's put one out from here. Beyond Lemuria for easy ivy. Let's see what we got. I am going to put the decks in the comments. If you are after that, if you're after a personal reading, let me know. I do do that stuff. And hope you're watching my TikToks because I do those daily. All right. The Earth Star Chakra. All right. So this is deeper. This is deeper than the root chakra. The root chakra, we're really just connecting. So while we're doing this spiritual and this oracle stuff, this is really about connecting yourself to the real earth and the, the element of the earth, right? And that deeper grounding yourself deeper while you're out there in the ethereal plane, you also need to ground yourself deeper in the actual physical plane as well, right? And connecting to the earth, connecting to the Gaia spirit, right? And really looking at that. So there's a sort of initiation that you've been going through inside of this process right that you've been going through okay with the moon cycles in here that's really intense nice all right so let's see let's put our five out and we'll do two rounds and then i'm going to do one each right let's go let's go let's put these oh straight out off the cuff oh the ancestor so you came out of this big full moon thinking about your ancestors thinking about your past right thinking about the path that other people have trodden before you and when where you need to go, what you need to do to follow that guiding light, right? All right, because you are the uh, you are the conglomerate of all of your ancestors that made it to here to you, to be you, right? and following what actually is in in your sphere, and you're being guided to do this. Your abilities maybe are coming through, and maybe that's connecting with your ancestors. Maybe this is actually about taking that time to heal an ancestral debt that you maybe that is inside of your bloodline. All right, but this is connecting with your ancestors as you're going through the psychic and as you're connecting with the earth. All right, really nice, deep-rooted stuff here, mm -hmm. earth people. All right, so in the dark moon, what are we doing? We're celebrating. We're celebrating our spirit. And this is the dark moon phase that we're in sort of now, right? You want to be able to see the celebration in life. You're celebrating your actual achievements. You're celebrating your heart. You're celebrating your spirit inside of here and your relationships of spirit, all of your being being connected together. And you've got your family there and we're all like literally dancing around the fire and spending some time. So it's with friends and family and this is a celebration card and a celebration of your spirit. It can be a marriage card. All right, so maybe you're talking about marriage of spirits inside of here and, and your path and really marriage, marrying your being to your path. 
All right, so we're then going to the new moon. All right, what are our intentions? Setting intentions in the new moon. Oh, taking our aim. The archer, really taking our aim. All right, so you have all this potential energy. Look at that bow just drawn back. The potential energy to unfling that arrow and hit the mark. You have trained. You know what this is about. You have the skills. You have everything in your purse. All right, you know who you are as a being. This is slow and steady, and you're going to take that. You take that to the world. All right, this is taking your plans and really taking to the world and really making material action out of them and really manifesting on the physical plane. Right, but really using your skills and honing in on what you've practiced on, and you know where you're at, you know where your skills are at. All right, the chariot moves forward. This is the archer, this is the chariot, they move forward. All right, this is forward potential action and energy inside of here in your new moon. What are you going to move forward in, earth people? All right, and you're tuning in on that, you're tuning into the universe here. All right, so that's the intention this is to take on the world. What are we building up with? What is the waxing? What are we going to build up with our tools to get to the full moon? All right, to really push our intentions through. The Wheel of Fortune. All right. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. What you hold on to and what you let go are the threads that make your life, are the threads that make the picture inside of your cloak, right? So what are you holding on to? What are you letting go? All right, so we can see that you've got all of your deities are here and we're our sun and our moon and we're really going through that turn of events inside of here. The cycle and the world will change and you go with it. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down, but it's what you hold on to and what you let go. All right, the threads that make your cloak and make the colours of your world. All right, and you know that. So that's what we're building up. You making the colours of your world and letting go of some things and holding on to things as you go through the cycle. In that wheel of fortune we spin the wheel so what is the strength what are we going into with this full moon so we're building up and using our strength and knowing the world is changing and we're going with the wheel of fortune we're walking our ancestral path through this and we're celebrating that our connection our connection with the spiritual world with the psychic awareness like our self psychic selves and our earth connection. This is a nice round organic feeling inside of here. So full moon. What have we got? Full moon in June for the earth peeps. Ooh, the earthy empress. So this is like really stepping into the central self. You've got your deities, a rebirth. You're speaking your truth. You're really actually like taking a very central path on the in the physical realm. This is a very fertile card, fertile move forward. Right, and be the queen of all that you survey inside of that. This is what this is looking forward to. Actually really connecting with this divine light. But this is the earth. This is the earth goddess. Right? Again, we're looking at this earth goddess connecting with ourselves. right, And really connecting with that, that on a really motherly level. And that rebirth and that strength in our communication. All right. Very earthy. That's so earthy. Very Virgo. Very sensual. Very sensual cards. All right, I'm going to put down a few more. Let's see. Let's do some confirmation. Let's see with verification on what these are about. Clarification. Clarification on the ancestor. Ooh. Okay. All right. You've come to an end of a path or you're at a beginning. So this is with the 10 of air, we're always talking about like this is the middle of that communication road. You are the um, student and you are the master. All right. So you're either passing on like some knowledge here or you're sitting and you're taking knowledge so this is it really taking in knowledge from your ancestors but it may be that you've actually finished studies and it might be to take up some more studies or it might be time for you to become the teacher and actually teach people but this is a communication inside of you from your ancestors and this is perhaps maybe you need to do some courses to talk about your spiritual awareness like in your spiritual awakenedness all right this is a communication and a knowledge base that you're actually communicating with your ancestors coming out of that full moon right okay so what's the celebration that we've got in the dark in our dark moon spot in here Ooh. where do we go with this right so You've moved maybe a step on from this. Maybe this is because this is the three of voices is usually about three forms of communication. Uh, it could be about a menage en toi, so that there are three people inside of a situation, but it's also about like um, three trains of thought. It's, you know, that you're actually, you, and so something is being kept from you in the dark, but this is when we're talking about a celebration in our dark moon and what the aspect of this is, we're really talking about 
you know, how your inspiration's coming in and how you're communicating yourself because we're talking about communicating ourselves, right? And so there may be people that are conflict with you. There may be people who don't believe you. There might be people bitching in the background, right? But you are celebrating your life, right? So there may be that you feel like that there is still something in the background that is being said and never been spoken about, but there's a real determination for you to celebrate what you've got going on in your life in here. So this is the dark aspect of the moon that you've got going on. All right. All right. So we're moving to the new moon, right? So you've got goals and goal setting. You've got this potential energy and where you're going to take that to the world, right? Banging it together. All right. Taking it on. This is a physical challenge. Just taking on this, banging it together. Like this is our Saturn and our Jupiter. Right, and really making the money, taking on the physical challenge that goes with this, you know, so we are taking it on, we're taking it on twice, so the potential energy is there, but we also want to make the money and, and really bring it into reality, bring that physical manifestation with our materials, bringing it together. Okay, all right, what else have we got to bring together? Okay, seven of voices. Okay, and so inside this, as we're going through into going into this full moon and we've got the the waxing and we're building up you're going through all of the mental mental insecurities right of your past you're going through all the insecurities of like what are people going to think if they work out that i'm a bit psychic what are they going to think if they uh, think that i you know need to ground myself to nature like there's all these insecurities of the path of maybe making money this is a time for you to write them down you've got a lot of insecurities and you've got a lot of thought and knowledge sitting inside of here uh, and so as this will change, you're worried about the insecurities. You're worried about the things that you can't control. Right? Then maybe it's a time to write them all down so you can make those insecurities into your strength, so you can make your illusion into a reality. Uh, by writing that down and actually knowing what are the things that might be the fail, fail in your plan. What are the things that you do need to let go of? What are the things that you do need to action? These are the things that we write down when we come into these air element cards, right? right? Always lists. What do we do to get this action going? All right, what is the, what's the deception? Where are we deceiving ourselves so that we can make sure that we know where the stumbling blocks are in our plans, right? Okay, so when we go into the full moon, removing our illusions from ourselves, into the full moon, oh, there you are. And we've got the muse of voices. All right, so this is clear, concise. You've been going, you go through this path of all of these what am I meant to do and am I, what, what, what sort of conversations do I need to have and what, what's been going on in this background inside of here, all right, but we come into our full own, so not only are you just going to communicate like the empress, the, the green woman, all right, you're also going to communicate, so a green woman from her heart, from her love, from her grounding, all right, she's communicating and inside of here we're also communicating again with this muse, we're talking about it, so we're talking about it quite clearly, concise, and strong, because we've been through it, we know what our insecurities are, so when you're going into this full moon, you're going to have full conversations that are very loving, like, and maternal and um, sensual inside of here. All right, that is the build up for the earth signs. If you are still here, thank you very much for still being here. Oh, all right, I am gonna do individual star signs. So I'm gonna start with Taurus and then we're gonna move on. So if you are a Virgo or a Capricorn, go into the timestamps and they will be there because, uh, and then you can go on with this reading. So we'll build up from where this is here. So skip to that now if you are a Virgo or, or a Capricorn, if you're a Taurus, Hang in, let's throw some cards and let's add on, let's see what we got for the Taurus in the house. All right, so maybe this is communing and, and, and we're really talking about your psychic abilities and your tuning into your oracle selves. So this is maybe communicating with your ancestors, but also just sort of treading through your path about what that is logically, because this is a logical card. What sort of um, reskilling do you need to do? What sort of paths do you need to take, right, to ground yourself? All right, this is getting back in contact with childhood stuff. This Six of Cups is a reunion card. It could be a reunion with a lover. It could be a reunion with the things that you thought that you wanted to do mm -hmm. as a kid. But we've got a real reunion of, of your heart and maybe with your family, you know. And so maybe this ancestral clearing and connecting, there's a sort of communication and it's a way to 
maybe really get back into what you might have wanted to do. If you wanted to be a florist when you were a kid, maybe it's time to reskill and become a florist. If you wanted to be a teacher, maybe it's time for you to take that to the thing, table and teach and use that ancestral past. But we've got a nice, beautiful reconnection with things that are connected to our heart inside of there, things that are meaningful from your childhood, right? All right, that's what's come out of that full moon for you, this big full moon that we've had. Uh, so the next thing Taurus we have is what do we got with this celebration and this three of voices so we're still insecure about celebrating maybe all right the empress the empress all right this queen this this empress queen of queens all the queens wrapped in together this sensual being all right that's where you may be hiding that maybe you were hiding it from yourself maybe people are talking about that maybe people are celebrating that maybe you know, this is about, you know, you connecting with that and you still feeling insecure about that, that you're actually that that empress, that you are that person, right? You're going to talk about it later, but here you're still going, I'm. this is in the dark side of the moon. You know, perhaps there's three parties involved, perhaps there's three, that's a lot of talking in here, but maybe different people are talking about your celebration, right? All right? And that you're coming into your own and maybe that's what it is that's sitting in the back room of this dark moon for you. Taurus, or oh, all right, and you're coming into your own. And people are talking about that. All right, because you're gonna, you got the potential energy, and you're gonna work hard. All right, because you're looking for fulfillment. You're looking out there to get the things that you want. And this is going into the full moon that you're willing to work hard. You've got the potential energy, you have the skills, and you're looking for fulfillment in your life, Taurus. That's what's coming into this full moon. That's what you're gonna put out there into the full moon. All right, how do you get that fulfillment? How do you bang that together? Right. So we we talk about that as we build up into the full moon with this waxing. Right. So it's waxing, we're really talking about going through the insecurities, going through the things that might be on the plan. You know that things are changing. What are those things? What are those things that you know you might need to talk about to, to take some action, to get the things you want in the fruition of what you want? All right, so Taurus, what have we got in the waxing, in the June moon waxing? All right, in this winter solstice. Here we are, King of Wands. This is inspired. This is inspired. This is inspired by your passion. This guy is like strong passionate really going after what he wants and so you're not just going to communicate from your mind you're communicating from your soul from your spirit right so you are doing the things and you are strong inside of these choices that you're making in here taurus right you're really taking up this spiritual like and you might be insecure but you're going to burn that off with all of your passion what do we have to go with this here Whew, so we've got the i got the the green woman sitting here, and we've got this. So we've got this sensual woman who's in control of everything that she surveys, and we've got this key communicator out. And in here, Taurus, on top, we've got the emperor. All right. So what this is is we've got the actual emperor and the emperor sort of standing next to each other, and it's really all about communicating well and communicating like clearly, concisely, from the mind, from the heart, from a true from a true spot of truism right and clear open communication inside of this situation with this emperor and empress and that could be you that's all of those elements could be you built up in there good together taurus all right to make that all together so this is a real strong element real strong moon for you taurus uh, if you're moving in waves to go to, in the directions that you want to do to create the reality that you want to create all right you are inspired it may be that obviously when you make movement it creates movement in your mind all right so we go through our insecurities we go through what we actually want to be and where do we want to go and like and this is really connecting with your childhood stuff and your ancestors and there's a clear line of communication in your spiritual realm in here to get the things that you want that make fulfillment for you taurus inside of this moon or all right nice build up in there taurus i hope that you like that please hit like and subscribe thank you for still being here and i'm going to do some relationship uh, videos coming up maybe this week i hope that you're doing well and i'll catch you on the flip side thanks taurus all right so next up next up Next up, we got Virgo. We got Virgo in the house. All right, I'm gonna take this animal totem. Let's see where we go. Virgo, right, so psychic abilities. We're tuning into our psychic abilities, but we're really grounding ourselves. This is a really nice balanced spot inside of you. Really listen to the wisdom come in from your ancestors. We don't know where we'll, we're sitting in that spot of stasis where we are both the less both the master and the disciple sort of thing right and sitting there in our communication 
All right, so what have we got to go with that for you, Virgo? It's a ten of wands, right? So we're ten, we're going to eat those up together. So ten of wands. All right, so this is about taking your responsibility for your path. Your mind, you, you've gone through the cycles of, of, of your mind and, and really become a master. And you know that there's, there's lessons inside of that for you. And this is about you actually taking responsibility. The wands card, this ten of wands when we see that, is always about taking responsibility for our what we believe in, what we respect, all our battles, all of our faith well our beliefs in here what we actually and we take them and we honor them inside of that card all right if it's a burden you hand it back to other people but it's your responsibility it's your path and it's your mind all sitting in there and that's where to come out of that with so we'll go out of that last moon that big moon that we've had in may all right so that's where we came out of what are we sitting now the dark moon all right oh i'm gonna take that one because it's flipped off all right, what have we got in the dark moon in here? We've got the high priestess. All right, so really tuning into this feminine divine. So you want to celebrate your life. We've got the celebration card. You want to be able to celebrate with family and friends, your successes, the marriage of your mind, of you being stable, of all of your elements, all your bodies being less stable together, but your spiritual passions, right? All right, but there's insecurities. What are you talking about? What are other people talking about? What are we we're worried about here? This is like three people talking and it's like I'm getting three lines of communication. Maybe can't make up on my mind. I'm in two minds maybe inside of this. Can't make up a mind. Don't know about the choices inside of there. But inside of here, you're really tuning into something very spiritual, this feminine divine, all right? We weave the web and we're very exoteric and we're still reaching out and looking at you know, how the moon affects us and how it affects our being and where we are inside of this. So in this dark side of the moon, you might be tapping into our uh, high priestess in there, all right? A red back spider, she's wonderful, all right? But we're weaving our web and you know that, all right? So this is taking your time to tune into the divine, maybe tuning out of your mind and tuning into the divine to what you really want inside of there in this dark side of the moon, Virgo. All right, so next we have going into the new moon. What have we got coming up into this new moon? Oop, I'll take that one. New moon in, in June. All right. So we have this archer who's really going out there, got their potential energy, banging up, want to make the money, really actually trying to, you know, put our nose to the grindstone and really put our our karma and our long-term plans in together and see what we get from us. Jupiter and Capricorn, this Jupiter and Saturn energy capricorn and sagittarius energy but we're really aiming for things inside of here and we've got a new light all right this is like this new light this new glow this new little ladybug that you're going to follow this new little um lightning bug all right <clears throat> that we're going to follow and then and you've got an idea and this is a spiritual realm and this kabang i'm going to do something you're inspired to do something inside of here burger so coming out of this little bit of a like an insecure little like what do I need to do? This is come out with I I've got this inspiration. I've got that coming out of here. I know where I want to aim, aim my stuff at to bang this together and create change and challenge inside of my life, right? Uh, and challenge my life. So what do we do to build up with this? What are we building up with these insecurities? So, so we're building up in that with this change so we're going to write down all of that stuff that makes us insecure because we've got a new path and we're inspired to do that and we're going to take responsibility for our mind and our ancestors path and what we've done to get here because we're getting these psychic messages right and we are getting these psychic messages and they've been making us insecure because we want to be able to celebrate what are the celebrations of our lives that we want inside of here these milestones and now you're inspired right what is the insecurity insecurity the moon you still feel a bit wishy-washy some of this still feels emotional some of it you can't it's all moon cycles right it's all lunar moon cycles so this is sort of enhancing this is a dream space though take that fertile dream space and really you know capture that energy for you right Oop uh in the moon we can actually dream a little bit further it might still be wishy-washy but an incandescent and i've got a cat on the table uh, but this is really about um you know taking that time inside of this in this build up of what you want to actually dream a little bit further really space it out and work it out what it is write it down space it out work out what your dream is inside of this moon cycle All right because you are getting wisdom you're getting wisdom from the ages you're getting wisdom from your ancestors you know inside of this space so still keep dreaming because you're gonna make this something strong and fertile and you're communicating it going into this full moon we've got this sensual feeling about us a virgo energy really loving really communicating from our heart like our world our path right and a rebirth 
Uh, and we are really communicating it with that muse of voices in here. What have we got for Virgo? One more cod. All right, no drama, Lama. All right, so this is not about your emotions. This is about really being connected on a really earthy level, being able to communicate your spirit and, uh, and your passion. So we're going to find that you're not dramatic about it. This is a bored state. You're bored emotionally, right? It's a bored emotional card, what that is. It's lackluster emotionally. All right, but what we are lingering on when we look at that is really filtering through our emotions about what we believe in all of this stuff. It's, it steps back and it actually takes the time. All right, so you're going to communicate yourself, but you're not going to be doing it from an overtly passionate, like emotional state. You're doing it from a communicated, heart grounded state in communicating your love and your, where you're going and where this is all heading for you. I hope that makes sense, Virgo. Uh, let me know in the comments. Thank you for still being here. I'm going to do some uh, relationships stuff uh videos check them out i hope that you like that please hit like and subscribe you know stuff and i will catch you on the flip side all right last but not least let's go to capricorn all right capricorn so we're aware of we've got psychic abilities we're tuning in like we're the master and we are the student waiting for our ancestors guidance and we're taking it on right this is what came out of this full moon for you it's time to take it on it's time to take it on with a passionate energy it's time to take it on like, like you actually are the emperor of it all and you can get, have everything that you survey this guy is passionate he is driven and he is going to move forward he knows that, that he's got to make the moves inside of it all and he's a mover shaker inside of here so we're not just taking it on and knowing our mind right and in the cycle of knowing our mind it's time to take our passion forward all right you don't have to know everything is a saying move it forward regardless of knowing everything all right so or we wait this emperor is coming inside of here one of the two inside of there all right that is what we came out of that moon with all right we're becoming the emperor we've taken our time for our lessons inside of here right? and our ancestors are guiding our path and we're listening to their intuition we have been given and guided with all right so what have we got the dark moon what have we got going on now for capricorns the dark moon, the Capricorns. Oh, they're here, infant. All right, so we want to celebrate. We want to celebrate all of these, um, all of these milestones in our life. We want to celebrate all the things we've got going on, but we've got insecurities. There's still all these things in the background. Maybe haters, all this stuff that gets said in the background. All right, but we really worry about that just a little bit. And but we want to celebrate our life and why and when we're sitting. All right, but because we're waiting, we're waiting for this stair, and this is a promise. These are, this is the here umfit, and it also comes in as a marriage card. This is talking about contracts. This is talking about things coming into fruition, All right, and really in solid ways that they're going to come into your life. And that's what you're brewing on in this dark side of the moon is how do we climb that stair, and and that's coming, and you know that there's something coming, and there's a marriage of minds that are coming together, and this marriage. But you know, people are still talking. Shit, that's the way it is, right? There's always haters. All right, but that's in the background for you, this dark moon. What have we got for you coming into the new moon, Capricorn? What have we got for Capricorn for the new moon? All right, new moon, Capricorn. What is our intention? So we're intending to take aim, and we've really got this potential energy, and we want to really take it onto the world, take on the challenge. Physical challenge. You're going to get creative. Right. This could be about creative with your money. This could be about creative with the world. This could be a time, you know, for you to maybe to art, make your artwork. It might be time for you to actually, but this is really taking on this challenge and I've got a creative element going on for you, Capricorn. So this is, you know, a little abnormal for Capricorns because they say we're not creative, but this is about being creative with your money. It's how you invest your time, how you invest it with your people. It could be siblings inside of here, uh, but this is really connecting with, you know, the joy on the physical of the physical realm and really creating a universe and being a co-creator in it all as you create what you want and take on this physical challenge with all of your potentials you're a co-creator capricorn that's what your intentions are sitting in there so why are we talking about the insecurities as we go through so we need to lift those down as a wheel of fortune as things change so it's about being stable all right we've got a bit of uh, the emperor on here we've got some really stable cards coming out in here and so the reason that you're worried about your insecurities is it's because the world is changing and you want to be the the king all right and so this is about keeping control of the elements and everything that are around you capricorn and what you can do with those 
All right, so this is, you know, be in control of that. You want to, yeah, that's your insecurity. So write them down. Write down all of your insecurities and what's worried about you, not the people and haters and what they're saying. They're worried. They're, they're hating on your celebration and what you've got going on here that's really strong coming forward. This is really about writing down those insecurities so that you can sit here with the king and be the king of all that you survey and really be in that really nice, strong spot as the world changes. That's what we've got going on. All right, and then we build up right into this full moon, out of the waxing moon into the full moon. Out of the waxing moon into the full moon. One card for the moon in June for Capricorn. What do we got? Taking that top one. Nine of Pentacles. All right, Capricorn. This is really attaining. You're you're really attaining here. You're reaching for those goals. Uh, and so with this card, the Nine of Pentacles, we're really talking about like you know, you as an individual. This is a nice, strong this going with this sensual this sensual um, empress, the sensual green woman. This is a trading those goals. This is your traditions, talking to the world about those traditions. Maybe these could be a partnership together, but this is a nice individual just here. Your strength and your strength of your being and you, you know, making your money and reaching your goals and really reaching attainment in here, Capricorn. And that's what's coming. Some nice attainment, some nice strength in your individually and your purpose and really what you've worked hard for and, and really being able to express that from a nice deep strength of a purpose in here is coming for you Capricorn I really hope that resonates I hope that you like that and I'm going to put some uh, other like relationship reads up Capricorn and I will keep catch you on the flip side I hope that uh, resonates with you ciao for now